you got to keep me in the house because I really, 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 really want to be here. You should keep me in the house because I've got a lot more to come. I'm really starting to enjoy myself. And you're going to want me to stay here because I'm living your dream. Hopefully I'm making it fun, bubbly and pink for you to watch. So if you want to keep me in, I'd love it. is Big Brother eviction number six, coming to you live from Dreamworld. Here's your host, Gretel Galeen. the eviction number six. Tonight, we will meet our sixth evictee, ask him or her questions and have them answered. Or at least, that is our plan. But of course, I don't know if that plan will be realised, because the nature of live television is that it is indeed alive. It takes 250 people to bring you Big Brother each week. This week, we will be presenting six daily shows, five up lates, one uncut, and four live television programs. And you know, we deal with dramas and surprises in every single one of those shows. Live television is what we do, and we are very, very proud of the way we do it. And so when people ask me, what is your reaction to last week? What do you want to do about it? What do you want to say? I just want to say thank you. Thank you to our crew, Thank you to our audience for loving the wild beast that is Big Brother. And finally, thank you Merlin. So, back to tonight's eviction. Four in store for a shock tonight. Who will be going? Will it be the girl with curls, Bree, to straighten her out? For 1902 55 55 72 or SMS free to 188 Will it be the blonde Elvis Presley, Wesley, to make him all shook up? Uh huh, uh huh. Ring 1902 55 55 65 or SMS Wesley to 188 Will it be the queen of lip gloss, Ashley? To wipe the smile off her dial for 1902 55 55 66 or text Ashley to 188-9966. Or will it be the netballing nurse, Terry? To put her through the hoop from 1902 55 55 61 or SMS Terry to 188-9966. Phone lines are open till 8. The SMS lines close at 7.45 Eastern Standard Time and voting has already closed in Western Australia, the Northern Territory and South Australia. Written and spoken on behalf of Big Brother. For further details, visit our website. Well, our housemates have spent the week competing in the Big Brother Olympic tasks. So let's see if this week's nominees are feeling higher, faster, stronger, or if they're ready to leave the Big Brother Olympic Village. First up, the entire French team. Voila, it's Wesley. Um, my week's been really exciting, actually. I felt um, it started off a bit slow, but I've really enjoyed this week. Right, I can't wait for Sunday now. 
I'm it's like, mad, I'm doing this task, I'm on Friday, Saturday over, and then Sunday just to like, you know, the build it's up. Mad. I knew that I could be nominated, I knew there's a chance I might not be, um, and it doesn't take much. Where's, the... oh, no. Where's my salt? All the other nominees have got different emotions and feelings and expectations about this week, whereas for me it's sort of the first time. I reckon it's between me and Bray. That's an early call. Oh, that's a massive call, mate. Yeah. I would miss most the camaraderie that it is developing, and I think it's going to get stronger and stronger. <laughs> I'd love to survive my uh, first possible eviction, uh, and if I went, it'd be fun and I'd, I'd be content, but I wouldn't be, you know, satisfied. Cool as a cucumber or wet as a lettuce as the threat of the eviction salad spinner draws near. Hello, Wesley. Hi, Gretel. Hi, everyone. <laughs> How you doing? G'day. Now, Wesley, I've only got a moment to talk to you. I know you've got big things. Yeah, you've been no. nominated all week. You could be up for eviction, but of course, the biggest issue on your plate is the fact that you've got wind this evening. Oh, I have got wind, Gretel. I tell you what, those Barbies go straight through me. <laughs> Is that what it is? It's not nerves? Nah, it's not too much. No, I'm, I'm very excited actually. I'm, uh, you know, looking to see, looking to see what's going to happen, and this is what the experience is all about. So, yeah, very excited about tonight. Really? Yes, um, yes, very um, much so. And what happens if the wind isn't under control when you come out on stage? Oh well, <laughs> you'll be the first one to know about it. That's for sure. <laughs> Thank you, Wesley. Uh, I hi, appreciate it. <laughs> all and right. Girl, I just want to say hi to my beautiful girlfriend, Michaela. Thousand kisses and my mum, Drew and Tim. Hope you're all well and I hope I'll see you soon. And Dad, take care. Cool. Thanks, Wesley. Bye bye. Yeah. Wow. He didn't even pay for those advertising spots. He's got the hair, he's got the smile. I wonder if either will move if he's evicted. Or will it be Ashley who's evicted tonight? This week she's been wearing the fez for Egypt. Let's see if she thinks she's a sphinx or if she's in denial. <laughs> scary being up for nomination because it's weird because you think that you might not be here next week and it's a really weird feeling. We'll try and stay mum. The task we've got is really fun <laughs> and um, I won a gold medal so that was cool. And the gold medal, Egypt. Hey! <laughs> you shined Egypt! <laughs> I just had a bit of a hard time on the outside world the year before I came into here. So coming in here has taken all of that away. I think the hard thing for me now is having to leave after getting close to everyone and liking them. I think this is something really special to be part of too. You know how we're in here? Do you reckon they watch everything we do? <laughs> like yeah. every single thing? single thing Ashley does and says and we still get gobsmacked. Let's cross now and see what she has to say. Hello Ashley. Hi. Now, is that, is that dress one of yours that you brought into the house? Yes, this is my favourite pink eviction dress because my favourite colour is pink. And? And my mum bought this for me so yeah I'm kind of wearing it every Sunday to remember her. Now this is, is this your second week being nominated or is it your first? It's my second time and I'm so nervous because I could live in this place forever. It's like a fairy tale. It's like a fairy tale. Who's the Prince Charming? Um, if I had to choose one, I'd say Frizy. And who's the Wicked Witch? Um, I wouldn't say there's a Wicked Witch. I'd say this is the best house at Big Brother's Pig because everyone here has a beautiful personality. I love everyone. Oh, well. Are you prepared for the outside world if you have to go tonight? Oh, um, I don't know. It's still unreal for me, but I'm very nervous. But I hope I'm making Australia proud and I'm having a lot of fun in here. Oh, good on you. Bye-bye. Well, Ash is one of three girls up for eviction tonight. They're like sisters. It's just like charmed. We'll take a crystal ball to Terry and Bree after the break, but in the meantime, you have the time to decide who will be defeating the eviction demon tonight. Four. Four, four, four housemates. 
Fiction. 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 eviction where you're not only deciding who'll be evicted but who'll stay in the running for one million dollars. All tonight's nominees are teetering on the tail of the piggy bank. We've chatted with Ashley and her future Prime Minister Wesley. Let's see how Terry, the netballing nurse, has played out her week. It's always good to be here after Sunday. I had a bad feeling in the pit of my stomach all week but you know, this is my last week. Oh, this is number six. I know. You know? And I keep saying it every week, when's my luck going to run out? I kind of see myself kind of sometimes detached from emotion, especially from my profession. When you're dealing with patients, you can't let emotions get into the way, so sometimes I do feel like I put my emotions on the back step. I've got a pain, really sharp pain in the middle of my shoulder base. Do you want to see if there's a knife in there? I'll get stuffed. Because <laughs> I'm coming up every week. I'm just, there must be something. But then it's good to know that there's people out there that must like me. There's so many people that wanted to be here, be in my shoes. And I've got to kind of live out their fantasy for them. Well, time now to cross to the diary room and see if Terry's wearing her lucky netball gear or if she hasn't managed to get it back from Paul. Hello, Terry. Hi, girl. Hi, Sally. Hi. <laughs> How <are> you going? <laughs> so you're wearing the lucky netball outfit. I am. <laughs> which we saw Paul wearing this week for an Olympic event. <laughs> you did. <laughs> did you wash it? <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> does it have built-in underpants? It does. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Lucky or not, Miriam, well, we got to go to a good shot there. Okay, now very quickly, I have to ask you, you had a feeling this week you're going. What are you thinking now? I'm just really sad. I've had, I feel like I've been emotional a bit more this week than any other week. And um, going from past experiences, it seems that everyone that's got emotional is left. So I just have to cross my fingers this week and I just want to stay and... Uh, just cross my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> cross your fingers, cross your legs, particularly in that short skirt, and um, we'll see you soon. Maybe. Oh, I'm joking. I have to be careful what I say, don't I? They're all so nervous. I have no idea who's going. Our second golden haired Queenslander, Bree, has flown the Aussie flag during her second week of nomination. Let's see if she's advancing fair or if she's girt by C, and that is C for consternation. Now that I've experienced the whole eviction process and everything once, I, I see that, you know, it's not all doom and gloom, that there is um, a fun side of it as well. Terry the Terminator, Ash the Nice Girl, and Wesley the School Captain. I'm learning about the male species, so they're not like such aliens to me anymore. I just hate being patronised. It's my one really, really big hate, and I hate being felt, made feel about this big. Blue boy. Wes, he does it all the time. Rather than stewing over it and letting it ruin my last week, I have been trying to look for all the positives. I've been here five weeks longer than what I expected yeah. to be here, and I tell you what, like I kiss the ground for every day I've been here, and it's been an absolute yeah. blast. Yeah. If I go, I go. If I don't, look out. So we better look out if she stays. I have to tell you now, the SMS lines have closed. So let's see if we have to look out if Bree goes. Hello, Bree. Hello. Hi. Now that dress looks a bit familiar. 
Oh, it is a bit, isn't it? It looks a little stretched in the front area there. <laughs> it looks like it was worn by someone with slightly larger breasts than you. Maybe. <laughs> and who was that? Uh, it was actually Miriam's, but she never wore it. It still had the tags on it. <gasps> Did you steal it from Miriam? No, no, no. She gave it to me. It didn't fit her. Really? Yeah, so I scored it. <laughs> Where didn't it fit? Um, <laughs> I'm figuring around this area. Come on. <laughs> I know their egg flips. <laughs> now, you've thought before you were going to be evicted. What are you thinking tonight? I'm gone. <laughs> you reckon you're I'm, gone? Yeah, I'm, um, I'm really convinced tonight I'm going. I think I've just prepared myself so, yeah, really well. I think I'll be more shocked if I stay. All right, well, we'll see what's going to happen. All right, cool. See you later. Love you, Dad. So, who will it be? Will Bree be set free or will it be one of the other three? After the break, we cut the cheese with the housemates, grill them, and see who they think will melt tonight. Please, please, please. Please, give me in. I don't want to go. Give me in. I don't want to go. shared their inhibitions and often dress up to reflect the characters and activities of the Big Brother house. Last week alone we saw geisha girls, flakati rugs, brides and grooms and someone came as Miss Piggy. But I think that was by accident. Whatever your style, all our best dressed fans have the chance to win a 42 inch LG plasma screen worth $6,000. And that is not a bad prize just for having fun and dressing up. So speaking of Miss Piggy and dressing up, let's cross to the house and find what's doing in the Big Brother Kindergarten. Let me just tell you, we have less than six minutes till lines close. May I also say, they don't know you're here. So be very, very quiet when we cross to the house. Okay. Hello, house. Hey. Hi, guys. Hey. Oh, my oh, boy, she said it. No, she said it. my housemates. What was the challenge this time? No, you look good. You look pretty great, right? <laughs> yeah, you look pretty good. Amazing. <laughs> You know, normally at this time I'd chat to all of you, but Ryan, <laughs> there's something that I want to say just to you. Oh, no. <laughs> and I want to tell you this. I want you to go to the diary room for me to tell you. And more than that, what I tell, with you, tell you... <laughs> she loves you. <laughs> You are not allowed to tell anyone what I tell you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yep, just me and you. <laughs> Rightio, get in the diary room then. Get in there. So, Ryan. Do you know why I've called you in here? Oh, no, we've got no. Hold on, hold on. There we go, start again. <coughs> hopefully, I've got no idea, but hopefully it's something just personal between me and you <laughs> that no one else will know about. Can you give me an example of what sort of thing that would be? Maybe your mobile? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Now, I brought you in here because I really respect your intellect and, and your thinking capacity. I want to know, <laughs> who do you reckon is going to go tonight? Um, I don't know, it's a very tough one tonight. Um, just for some reason, I've got a bit of a gut feeling. Even though I really rate, I think uh, maybe someone like Bree. But um, I, I don't know, I'd, I'd really like her to stay. All right. It was just a little test. We'll see what happens next. Off you go. OK. <laughs> Bye. All right, Kane's coming in now. Here he comes, Kane. Hey. Have you got any idea why you've been called in here? Absolutely no idea. Has your behaviour been good? Always good, Gretel. Do you want to think about that? Nah, I'm right. Is there anything you want to confess? Nothing here, mate. Keep it real. Right here. <laughs> So tell me, who do you reckon is going to go tonight? Um, maybe Terry. That's all I wanted to know, but also your hair. I'm getting a few tips off me old geese, David Beckham. <laughs> it's a very Afro-American sort of thing, and your dad style's Afro-American. Yeah. Are you changing colour as well? Oh, no, it's just a new look, Gretel, you know, just keep it real, trying to keep a new look happening. <laughs> Good on you. Thanks for your insights. Cheers. we got Catherine on the way in. Sweet. All right, here's Catherine. <laughs> Catherine, do you hello. know... Hello. Do you hello. know why you've been called? <laughs> you know why you've been called in here? Absolutely not. Well, because you're the wise mother of the group, all oh. seeing, all knowing, eyes in the back of your head. Maybe, maybe not. Who do you reckon's going to go tonight? Oh. Ah. Uh, might be Terry, I think. Okay. Week, I think. All right, she has been emotional, she but that's, been... that's not necessarily a bad thing. No, no, no. All right, you go and have a good time. Thank you. Yeah. See you later. Bye. Okay, in comes Trevor. Here he comes. At some point. <laughs> Trevor. Hello, Gretel. You got any idea why I've called you in here? <laughs> I have no idea. No idea? I'm going outside. I'm getting evicted and the other guys are staying here. Yeah. <laughs> Get back, I'm finished. Go for it. No, you seem like a really, really observant person. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you realise that I love both you and Ryan. <laughs> I'm just wondering, who do you reckon is going to go tonight? Oh, oh. I had a feeling it was uh, going to be Brie, but uh, um, I'm, I think it's going to be Terry. Okay, the feeling said Brie, the thought said Terry, we'll see how we go, off you go. Love you Brie, see ya. Bye bye, nice to see you. Secrets. Okay, we've got Paul coming in now. And I have to tell everybody, I'll tell you later, here he goes. Alright, do you know why you've been called in here? No. Got any suspicions? No. You don't like to take stabs in the dark, do you? Not unless they're right. <laughs> you want to take a stab in the dark? No. You done anything? <laughs> you done anything wrong lately? Oh, I stirred up my old buddy. <laughs> Which one? Tessa. Do you reckon you stirred her up, or she stirred herself up? Oh, I give her a little bit of help. That's all. And do you reckon she thinks that might mean she's going? What do you oh, reckon? Oh, she thinks I've got the kiss of death, but if that was the case, I'd give them all a big kiss. <laughs> <laughs> all right, who do you reckon's going tonight? I hope not Terry, but um, I think Brie or Terry. Okay. I trust your instincts. We'll see how we go. Bye-bye. See you later. Okay, the lines are, of course, closed now, I believe. Is that correct, big brother? All right, we've heard from all of our housemates. After the break, we'll bombard them again, but this time with the latest Evict D news. Who will it be? You are watching Big Brother Live Eviction number six. This is how life should be. This is how life should be.
though the lines are closed, the announcement is imminent. Let's cross now to the Big Brother Olympic Stadium, where the nominees are in their blocks waiting for the starter's pistol. Hello, House. Hi. 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 Ryan, <laughs> you told them our secret. Oh, oh. <laughs> he didn't tell us another. number. Sorry, I'm sorry. What did you tell everybody we talked about? Oh, we're just telling them about, I don't get, know, right. my feelings for you and stuff like that, but they're going to keep it low key. They won't tell anyone else. No one. So you didn't tell them the real reason why I asked you in there? Yeah, no, nah, I didn't. <laughs> Which was to tell you that your fly's undone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on with the eviction. Let's have a look. You guys ready? You all think you're going, is that right? Ready to rock and roll. You're all prepared. One of you is going. Let's get on with it, shall we? We'll get the envelope. Yeah, let's do it. Thank you. All right. Anyone want to say a final word before they go? I love you. I love you, Donald. It's time to go. It's time to go, Terry. Well done. It's been so hard. Oh, dear. Well done. Thank you. Come on, I love it. Oh, I'm okay. Best of luck with you. Yes. Thanks. Take it away. Yeri! Beautiful. Well done. That's a good one. Big Brother's live eviction.
Yeah. Oh my God, this is huge. Now you've got your legacy items there. I've got some prizes for you. So I'm just going to get those out of the way while you get your breath back. That, I thought you were fit in the house. Let's have a look at the prizes over here. Prize number one is a classic watch from Raymond Wheel, Geneva. Prize number two is from Herbal Essences. It's a luxurious seven-night holiday for two at Numea's Le Pacific Hotel. Courtesy of Zuji.com.au, your online travel guru and new fruit fusions. Prize number three is from 3Mobile. Not one, but two LG video mobile phones so that you and a friend can watch all the live action from the Big Brother house. Nice. Watch, oh isn't it beautiful? Right. Here is your ticket, and here are your phones, and it's ringing. Do you recognise those two oh, people? Oh, stinkies! <laughs> Say hello. 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 Good thanks. We're busy selling it. I'm sorry, Matt. You're a Bellagera. Sorry. Thank you. Oh, that's we have sweet. the biggest, biggest oh. surprise for you when you come home. You are oh. going to be outstanding. But very well done. Good on you. Love you. Oh. Love you too. Thanks, guys. <laughs> so they've got a big surprise for you. That was a couple of your netball mates. It was, yeah. I wonder what the big surprise is. Are they going to take me out and party or something? <laughs> oh, that'd be a shock, wouldn't it? Now, we have to party with you tonight. We have to celebrate your time in the house. Okay. And we're going to start with the hard bit, which is seeing who nominated you this week. Oh, uh, it's probably everyone. I'm going to get well, used to that one now. Let's have a look. Where am I looking at? Uh, I nominate two points to uh, Tez. I've had a couple of chats or a few chats with Tez and stuff. I think we've got two different personalities. Just some of the stories that she has about uh, her, her way of life and stuff. The incidents where she's up against the mirror with her breasts out and, <laughs> and stuff like that. Sometimes I sort of think that it's a bit too full on. I just feel like she doesn't, like sometimes she doesn't respect my opinions. I get a bit annoyed because I, I sort of want to have an input in com serious conversations and stuff. I nominate um, for two points Terry this week. Um, just during the task this week, I felt that she was a bit demanding and a bit pushy. That's me. <laughs> Did I, any of those yeah. hurt? Uh, no, because it's all me, so it's all good. So you reckon that pretty well sums <laughs> oh, you up? Well, yep. You know, I felt for you quite a bit in the house because it was difficult at the beginning, it wasn't was. it? Yeah. How come, it, it looked to me like you were separated from everybody, like, like sort of on the outside. How did that happen? Um, I had a few different opinions with a few people in the house. I wanted to get there and have fun and chill with everyone, but there was a few people that wanted to make life difficult. So I and who were those people? Who were they? Oh, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> I've got to tell you a secret. We've been watching. <laughs> you know, anyway, it's all the point. No, but this is all. Let's, let's talk about it. Oh, who no. made it difficult for you? Um, well, at first I thought Af did. Right. So, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Just because it's different personalities. Different personalities. All right. Let's have a look. And a couple oh, of things no. that we saw. I'm just sort of trying to fit in, just in that early time. Oh, no, I don't want to see I it. I know, that makes it sound like, and you failed. But you did, let's have a look. But I am, like, nearly 12 years older than most of you. Oh, God. And that I've, not that I've reached a different level, but I think some people just take me wrong. I'm so not a girl. I'm so not, I'm just so not in the girls' group. I'm in the room, by the way, if you want to talk about me, you can come out here. I heard you say something that sounded like a really bitchy comment to me. When? I didn't even know when we had a tip. No, like, there was a couple of times when I started <laughs> talking to you, turn around and walk away and talk to someone else. I was like, no, oh, thanks, Crystal. Is everyone that pissed off with me that every week I get up for nomination? Do you get what I mean? Am I, I, know, am, I, I be, am I annoying people by staying here? The dirt that comes out of my mouth sometimes, even when I'm horrified. <laughs> <laughs> Terry, you just... You always take that one step too far. Yeah. <laughs> it's just come down to the point, obviously people just don't, maybe just don't like my personality. And if it does come down to that, then it's really tough titties. That's it, that's right. Tough titties. <laughs> so, that, look, even just jotting down from, the, from what we've seen so far, the age difference, that was a problem. You didn't feel like you were one of the girls. You have a tendency to take it too far and you do flash your boobs against the <laughs> yeah. mirror. Okay. That was my birthday. <laughs> that was one excuse. <laughs> You know what I can't believe is how you managed to keep a smile on your face, 
Because there were times, as we saw there, where the girls were talking about you, you'd be in another room or you'd feel like you were ostracised. Yeah. What did you think about? To think, well, I'll just get up, it's a new day. Yeah. How did you deal with it? <laughs> Basically, I came into the house because I wanted to be happy and have fun and, you know, despite all the crap, I was going to have fun. <laughs> Are you used to dealing with that sort of environment? Is it anything that's familiar to you? Um, <laughs> Maybe sometimes at work, or oh, not, okay. not with my girls, but sometimes, but not as, not as intense as that. So no. what happened? You've been up for eviction. This is your sixth time. Yeah. Is it the sixth? I think it is. Yeah. So this is the sixth time, as each time you didn't get evicted, <laughs> did you start to think, my God, I'm a legend? No. <laughs> what, what did you think? I just um, I started thinking that there was a good support network for me outside, and I was just thanking everyone. And, well, let's have a look, because uh, what happened in the house is it seemed to me that people's attitudes towards you started to change, because they couldn't tell in the house how popular you are out here, could they? No. Did that help you a little bit, the survival of the several evictions? Well, they started calling me Terry the Terminator. Yes, let's yes. have a look at that. <laughs> I'm not going to tiptoe around anyone anymore. If you don't like it, lump it and get over it. You've got a fan club out there too, that's for sure. Yeah. I'm here and that's all that counts. Three weeks, man. I has to say something about how, you know. Mm. Anyone in here hates me and anyone out there likes me? <laughs> if I get through Sunday, then I've got I know I've got another week. <laughs> that's it, that's it. There's pretty much only four of us nominated because we know Tezza will be right. <laughs> oh, don't be stupid. <laughs> You are the ultimate survivor. Right, you forget about Terry. <laughs> Terry's the predator, mate. She just eats anyone up that gets nominated. She's the Terminator, mate. Yeah, the Terminator. <laughs> wow, I am here with Terry the Terminator, and we will be back after the break. When we ask the question in the Big Brother house, is a fight with Paul the kiss of death? Oh, no. <laughs> with our sixth Big Brother evictee, Terry. Now, what I wanted to discuss with you, you even said it when we crossed to you tonight, that you'd had an emotional week. Yep. Now, what caused all the emotion? <laughs> you really want to know? Yeah, I do. Female hormones. <laughs> See? Never skip a period, ladies. <laughs> Doesn't work. <laughs> Okay, cool. No, I do think girls with PMT in the house should be immune from nomination. <laughs> totally. <laughs> because we saw a completely different girl in the house, didn't we? Yeah. We were watching and I thought, that girl's got PMT because <laughs> you were baiting Paul, weren't you? You were picking a fight, picking a fight. Shall I remind you? Let's have a look. Over here. <laughs> I just feel like I've been betrayed by a friend. I thought he was a friend. And I feel like I've got a knife in my back. I've been thinking it's not you that's got to kiss, kiss of death. <laughs> Why? Makes everyone argue with him and then they get to go, then they leave. If I started with your head, there'd be nothing left of it. <laughs> <laughs> so you can do this every night? Friends. So what are you doing it for? Your own entertainment? Or you, your private agenda? No, just a nibble. <laughs> what about Thierry last night? Mate, she wants to lock horns with me. Can't you tell? Oh. She, she, she really wants to lock horns with me. Oh, I've got a pain. Really sharp pain in the middle of my shoulder base. Do you want to see if there's a knife in there? I'll get stuffed. <laughs> God, I wish that hadn't happened. Totally. <laughs> you do, but there's yes. nothing you can do about no, it, is there? No, it's all good. Was there anything you could do about it in the house? Did you think I'm being an irrational girl here? Yeah, totally. There's nothing I, just, you can do I was really annoyed because I just wanted to snap out of it and I just couldn't. And I that was more annoying than anything. Oh, we all know what that feels like. Yeah. Bad luck, it was a nomination <laughs> week. Never mind, because you're here, we can celebrate with you and what I would like to do now is have a look at the other thing that's a little difficult to look at sometimes, the voting tally. Oh, I cannot. Let's have a quick look. Oh, oh there we go. Huge. Audio 
percent, twenty-four percent, twenty-one percent, fourteen percent. That's not bad. That's all right. Uh, oh, we've had one bad week. <laughs> oh heavens! Let's have a look at your legacy <laughs> item. The rest of things. This and this. Ah! Your body or the outfit you're wearing? The, the outfit, unfortunately. Oh, but I'm looking. I'm looking for a husband, by the way. <laughs> well, yeah, well, you've done a good ad for that. And uh, who's your charity? Um, the Salvation Army. The Salvation Army, fantastic. All right. Now we know you can get all the details of the auction for these, both of these. Are they going together? I guess so. At our website, bigbrother.10.com.au. While you're there, vote on which of Terry's three eBay gifts you'd like to give her on tomorrow's nomination show. Okay. We're running out of time. Ten questions. You ready? Can I just say the Salvation Army gave me food vouchers when I was younger and I couldn't afford food, so it's just to pay them back. Well done. <laughs> All right. What was the hardest thing about being in the Big Brother house? Feeling like I was on the outside. What did you miss the most in the house? My hair dryer. <laughs> right. Who was your favourite person? Um, Kath and Paul. Who was your least favourite person? Aphrodite. Who had the most annoying habit? Um, Iggs. <laughs> Would that be the burping and farting? Right. Who was the funniest? Fizzy. <laughs> Who do you think is playing the game? I don't think anyone's really playing the game. All right. What's the best thing about being in the Big Brother house? Having fun. You really had a good time? Yeah, Who will be out next week? Uh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> and who do you think is going to win? Fizzy. <laughs> Fizzy, Trev, Kath. Oh, they're, they're all going to win. They're all good, I love them all. All right. Well, you're a winner tonight, so let's have a look at the time you had in the Big Brother oh, house. No. It's good. good, good stuff, it's good all stuff. good over here. <laughs> it is to Yay! Oh. <laughs> I have a tendency of biting the bait if you stand in front of me. People are old enough to have a mouth and speak for themselves. <laughs> this is Big Brother. Terry, you are now a loser. <laughs> I've done it last night. I would have had it the way I wanted it. <laughs> oh, I God. really felt like you didn't want me in the group. Yeah. <laughs> but it's been good, it's been a really, really good experience um, and I wouldn't give it up for anything. Oh, no! <laughs> well done, well done. Now, I want to ask you, do you know what the Big Brother's secret is? <laughs> no, I've got no idea. I've, I was hoping it was going to be that you'd found me a husband, but uh, I think that's going to be the one. <laughs> I'm not looking for a husband for you. Does anyone yeah. in the audience want to marry Terry? <laughs> Are they your guys? Seven people, that's a good start. <laughs> right. No, I want to tell you what the Big Brother's secret is. Okay. All right. Now, you know how normally the prize has been $250,000. It isn't that anymore. It's a million dollars. Oh, you're serious? Yeah. For one person? Yep. One million dollars. Can I go back in? <laughs> <laughs> now, the other thing I want to ask you is, do you know what's in this envelope? No. You can Mitsub see the Mitsubishi. Inside here, a keys for you for Rally Bread Mitsubishi Lancer VRX. Oh, you That's yours. <laughs> Up you go. <laughs> we had a collision. Up you go there. Straight up there, up to your car. On you go. Oh my, oh my, yeah. Stay tuned for a surprising week of Big Brother. The surprising daily show will be back tomorrow night at 7 and up late is on every week night. Then a surprise. Terry and I will see you tomorrow at 7.30 for a massive live nomination. And join me on Tuesday at 7 for a special Big Brother one-hour show called The Secrets Out, where I'll be going into the house and telling only a few of the housemates the secret. Don't miss that. Uncut on Wednesday and then on Friday at 7.30. Join me again for Big Brother The Intruders. Yes, two intruders will be going into the house and you'll see all the action live as it happens. Oh, so exciting. Do I drive it?
I'm Gretel Colleen. This is Big Brother, where there are always surprises in store. Program brought to you from Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.